Please subscribe to Applebean <laughs> Fan TV. Hello my Dobby and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm building up to the Livingston vs Aberdeen game tomorrow down in Livingston tomorrow afternoon at a 3 o'clock kickoff. and before I get into the actual building up to the match itself I just want to talk about a few just a few just a few injuries that we've got at the moment and um, as we all know it's just, it's just been mental hasn't it with because last week before this Johnston game we're thinking Right, okay, we've got a pretty decent squad here. You know, it's still, we're not we're not lacking too much, although we do have a couple of injuries, but it's not too bad. But no, no, the Johnston game comes along and we get three injuries. So um, I'm going to start off with that. So Fusa Ojo, he's out for three months. So um, yeah, I thought I'd just start off with that. Bryson, he's going to be out for a month with an ankle injury. Not great. Scott Wright, he's going to be out for the season. I touched on that in my last video. Ash Taylor, he's out. So... Yeah, but he's been out for a while, so there's not really much of a surprise there. McKenna's still out, obviously. And John Gallagher did return to training today after his injury turned out to be not as bad as we thought it was. But he's a, he's a very high doubt for tomorrow's match against Livingston, and I very doubt, I very much doubt he'll get in the squad at all. I don't even think, yeah, he would, he definitely won't start, and I don't think he'll get in the squad at all. He might travel to go down and watch the game, but I don't think he'll be a part of it, in my opinion, from what I've seen of him. So now I'm going to get into it um, itself and let's talk about Livingston for a bit because they've had a pretty decent start to the season, haven't they? You know, they're still making their home Astro pitch um, a fortress, you know, just popping down to the local Astro surface because it, Livingston's pitch is just awful. It's it's the worst pitch in Scotland by far, by far. Um, there's, ob there's obviously some other teams in Scotland that have got Astro turf pitches. Kilmarnock have got one. Um, Hamilton have got one as well, but you know, this will be another opportunity for us to get another few more injuries. You know, just pile them up, just stack them on top of each other. You know, why not? Uh, so, th this will be a massive chance for us to get some more injuries, which obviously is not great. But this is the fixture that we probably least wanted right now because this is the stadium that you don't want to go to. You know, Livingston, they've got next to no fans, they won't create any atmosphere there, but they just play so differently at home because they're used to the Astro Turf pitch than they do away from home, because last year they had one of the best records at home in the league, but they had one of the worst records away from home in the league. So there was a really big contrast last year between their home performances and their away performances, which was a bit like us in a way, because last year, as we, as we know, our home performances were shocking, the worst we've had in years at Pataudry. But our away form is really good, you know, we had the best away form in the league. So if we played like that as we did at home, we would have probably won the league. It's the same with Livingston, you know, if they played like they did at home, or if they got the results they did at home, away from home, you know, they would have done pretty well as well. So, um, yeah, it's it's the team who were good at home last season against the team who were good away from home. So, you know, you could be good at that way, saying it's going to be a good game. Um, I think it's going to be quite tight because Livingston have started the season well. You know, they've got eight points, which, which is the same as us, which is good for them. Obviously not great for us. And this is a really big game for us because it's um, it's fourth versus fifth, if I'm, if I'm right in saying. We're fourth. I think we have a better goal difference than that. Um, than Livingston, but uh, we definitely are above them in the league, so we need to continue this and pick up three points and try and just claw our way up the league and maybe get and get to third, which would be massive for us because I think that th there's not really any expectation of us getting winning the league at all, to be honest. I don't think there's much of us f finishing second either. I think that, um, I think if you ask most Aberdeen fans right now, I think if you offer them third, they'd probably take it. So I think that, um, you know, I think if we finish third, I don't think it would be a massive achievement, but I just think that, you know, that's probably what we all expected at the start of the season and it would be good if McInnes was able to do that with the squad of players that he's got. And obviously it's going to be tough with the amount of injuries we've got tomorrow. So it's going to be very difficult to go down to Livingston. As hard as it is enough going down there when on the last to pitch, it's going to be even more hard tomorrow with all of our injuries. And this is really the start of some big fixtures coming up because obviously we've got this game, we've got the Hearts game down at Tynecastle in the Cup. There'll be some other injuries because we know the way Hearts play. Um, so we've got them in the Cup. Then, uh, then we've got the trip down to Ibrox as well next weekend, which we know what that's all about. Although we do have a good record there as, as it was shown last season. But um, it's still obviously a really tough place to go. Then after that, we've got Hibernian coming to Pataudry. So we've got some really hard fixtures coming up. You know, it's going to be very difficult for us to get points. 
because I said b- before this St Johnston game, out of the three games, the three league games we have in September, sorry, um, I thought that it was going to be pretty realistic for us to try and get seven points. Um, I still think that we can get seven points. I'm not saying it's completely ruled out, but our easiest game of the month was probably the St Johnston game last week. And we didn't win that. We picked up a point. So, you know, no one Aberdeen will do it the hard way. We'll go and beat Livingston away. We'll beat Rangers and that's seven points accomplished. Because that's just how Aberdeen play. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to talk about the game last year when we came down to Livingston. It was quite late in December. I think that was actually the last game before the winter break. And it was a 2-1 victory for Aberdeen. We were one of the only teams that went to Livingston last year and picked up the three points. And that was really down to James Wilson coming off the bench and having and playing really well. You know, he got the first goal, then he assisted the second one, which Dean Campbell got. Well, it was it was a discussion whether it was Dean Campbell or whether it was it was an own goal, but you know, just give it to Dean Campbell, please. And so last year, James Wilson was a different between sides. Will he be this year? I'm not totally convinced McInnes is going to start him, which, spoilers, I'm not putting him in my preferred 11 either. But I definitely think he'll come off the bench and he will feature at some point in the game. But I just don't think McInnes will play him from the start. And certainly, I don't think that's the right move anyway. So I'll move on to my starting 11 prediction now. So in goal, I'm going to go for Julius, obviously. Definitely the easiest player to pick. On the park by far. Um, right back. It's not going to be Zach Viner. It's, I'm going to go back to Shea Logan. Because you know we're really short on players at the moment. Because of the amount of injuries we've got. And there was some talk. There was talk about Tommy Hogan coming back. Because obviously with the injury crisis we've got. And he was doing his, re- his rehab at Aberdeen. So I think yeah. Tommy Hogan when he's playing. He's a great player. But he's, ju- he's too injury prone. He's like Mikey Devlin. Like, um, well, you could see Mikey Devlin in the team for this match, but I, I, I really just don't want to risk him on the Astro because he did pick up a knock last season. Um, it wasn't an Astro turf pitch, but it wasn't Livingston's. So I really don't want to risk him, in my opinion. So I'm going to put Shea Logan right back. The two centre backs I'm going to go for Zach Viner and Andrew Considine. Although we have seen Zach Viner playing in a more right back role, I still think that um, he can play centre back. It might not be his best position, but you know he can still put in a good, a good some good work there. And and you definitely see it being Viner right back and Considine and Devlin in centre backs. I could totally see that because McInnes may well do that. But in my opinion, in my preferred eleven, so that's two centre back. I'm good. I'm going to go for. So left back, it's gonna be Greg Lee, probably um what one of our best performers this season on average. You know, I think he's put in a decent shift in the games he's played in. Uh, probably one of our best performers, as I've said. Maybe alongside Cosgrove and Hedges, maybe. And I think that you know he's been a great servant to the club for for the amount of time he's been here. He's only been here about two months, so he's done really well in the time he's been here. So I'm going to go back to the sort of formation that Aberdeen played last year in a sort of four, how would you say it, four, two, two, one, one, sort of a, a, if you want to say, four, four, one, one, where you've got two centre mids playing quite deep back. So in my opinion, it's going to be Lewis Ferguson and Dean Campbell because who else are we going to play there? Bryson and Audio are out. And personally, because Dean Campbell came on off the bench and he scored last time we played at Livingston so I quite like to see him playing in this game because I think this is a game where he can really announce himself this season because we haven't seen much of him so far and hopefully McInnes gives him a chance to play in this match and on the wings I'm going to go for Niall McGinn on the left and on the right it's obviously going to be Ryan Hedges the man who got the goal last week I could easily see him scoring again as I'll get on to in my score prediction but I think that he, Ryan Hedges is going to be a vital player for us in this game running down that right hand side and maybe switching to the left because you know how him and McGinn like to switch um, quite often so it's going to be interesting to see how McGinn kind of sets them up in this game and um, the two up front well I'm going to put um, obviously Sam Cosgrove's going to be further up than this sort of calm centre forward which is going to be Conor McLennan we did see him play this role earlier on in the season in the trip to St Mirren where we lost 1-0 but I think that he had Curtis Main up with him um, that game now I'm not I'm not dissing Curtis Main but um, you know he's no Cosgrove you know you, you see Scotland play with Ollie McBurney up front and you know what Ollie McBurney looks Cosgrove look like the best player that's ever played in the world. 
You know, he could only McBurney, he's not a good player. Because I wouldn't say Sam Cosgrove's the best striker in Scotland. Well, certainly not this season at this moment, but he has scored a lot of goals for him. He's got 10 goals in 11 games for us so far this season, which is pretty good, a lot better than Curtis Main. So I think with McLennan feeding off Cosgrove and Cosgrove feeding off McLennan, they can cause Livingston some problems in this game. So I'm going to put Cosgrove up front and McLennan sort of just in behind him in the calm slash centre forward type of role. And now I'm going to get on to my score prediction for the game. And I think it's going to be very, very tight to this match. Uh, I'm not too too hopeful going into it because of our injuries and on the Astro Turf pitch. It's never easy to go down there. And Livingston have had a good start to the season. So I'm going to predict Livingston 2, Aberdeen 2. I think it's going to be a 2 all draw this game. Uh, I think that we are going to come away from Livingston with a point. I think the goal scorers would be, I think Cosgrove will get one, and I think Ryan Hedges will get one as well. So I think it's going to be a 2 all draw. I think we might go 1-0 up, Livingston might claw one back, we might go 2-1 up. I think Livingston are just going to keep on fighting back though. And I've got a feeling we're going to pick up another injury tomorrow. Not really, not a serious one, like Fuso or Joseph when he's been out for three months. But maybe we just wanted like, I don't know, Ferguson or someone, and you might be out for a couple of weeks. But um, I'm not hopeful that we can go down to Livingston and not pick up an injury and pick up the three points, which I'll be delighted tomorrow if Aberdeen just go down to Livingston and pick up the three points, which it, which will be a great result for us and a great step for moving forward for what's to come in the next part of the season. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching the video. Click the like button down below if you think Aberdeen can get a result tomorrow. Subscribe if you're new to Aberdeen Fan TV. And until next time, everyone, stand free. Goodbye.